Even if you've watched every episode, there are some behind the scenes secrets that will surprise you. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top five surprising facts about America's next top model. Y'all better work it, girls. <laughs> Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at tidbits that you may not know about your favorite TV modeling competition show. What I had to do to get from where I was to where I am now! <laughs> Number 5. The models destroyed a loft. In season 10, it looks like things got a little crazier than usual in the top model house. And they live together and shower together and <laughs> have naked pillow fights. According to multiple reports, the girls left the Tribeca loft where they were staying in quite a state. They were accused of causing $500,000 in damage to the $6 million loft on Liz Pennard Street. The floors were apparently destroyed, and it seemed as though several food fights had taken place, with ketchup splattering the walls and drapes. In reality, the damage was likely the result of both the contestants and film crew, as we really can't imagine why or how the models would have put holes in the ceiling. Number 4. It's Democratic While it may appear as though Tyra runs things on ANTM, it turns out that every time there is an elimination ceremony, the judges have to agree upon who will be voted off. I have a panel of judges here that I totally respect. According to past judges, they really do talk about who deserves to stay and who has to go. Everyone's opinion matters. They collectively vote on the decision, and Tyra's opinion isn't given any more weight than that of any other judge. So even though she's the one delivering the bad news, the final choice is a democratically decided one in which majority rules. So we've interviewed every single girl, and now we have to come and decide who gets the axe. Who gets the axe. Number three, a contestant sued Tyra. You will be seeing me again, know that. Okay. As you may recall, Angelia Preston was eliminated in the second to last episode of Cycle 14, only to make a comeback in Cycle 17 as one of the All Stars, winning the title in the process. I know I'm an All Star. I know people, they remember me. They know who I am. Oh, you don't remember that? Maybe it's because her crown was taken away from her. In between shooting and the final episode's air date, the judges decided to disqualify Preston for her prior work in the escort industry. The producers and the network thought it best to evaluate Alison and Lisa on their own without the added competition of Angelique. The crew reshot the final scenes of the season, crowning runner-up Lisa D'Amato as the winner instead. Preston went on to sue the show and Tyra Banks for a reported $3 million in damages. Rate, whatever, you can name it, it's happened to me. So basically, girls like me don't have a chance. Number 2. ANTM models often aren't taken seriously Though some of the former contestants have gone on to work in either editorial, runway, or commercial modeling, even for the winners, the show is no golden ticket. I'm America's next top model, baby! Yeah! Cycle 7 winner Carrie D. English has come out saying that she feels as though she and the other ANTM contestants, despite being recognizable to TV audiences, have never been taken seriously within the modeling world. English stated that she thought there would be more support given to the models after the show wraps, as many don't have the experience, knowledge, or portfolio to actually make it in the fashion industry. I don't ever want to see that face ever, ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Number 1. Contestants don't go home after elimination Both of you will pack your bags. Return to the loft. This one is especially surprising, considering Tyra is always talking about sending girls home. When the girl that I do not call must immediately return to the house, pack your belongings, and go home. But in reality, when a contestant is eliminated, they are housed in a hotel and unable to leave until the show goes to film overseas. Cycle 16 contestant Sarah Longoria shared this information back in 2014. Can you imagine being kicked off the show but told you are contractually obligated to stick around? Whether it has something to do with reshoots, non-disclosure agreements, or some other behind-the-scenes consideration, it seems like cruel and unusual treatment considering the girls know they've already lost. Then again, no one ever said modeling or reality TV would be a pleasant experience. When my mother yells at this, it's because she loves me! I was rooting for you! We were all rooting for you! How dare you! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.